Hi guys, just wanted to do another quick haul. This is from HEB and um, I know I've already uh, done a haul this week for Whole Foods but um, went to HEB today because I have decided that um, starting next week, today's Saturday, so starting Monday, I am going to be juicing again. Um, I've been, I've juiced before and I just kind of um, went back to regular my regular diet so um, now this time around I want to go ahead and before the holidays come up is go ahead and start juicing so I'm going to be replacing two meals with my juices um, so this haul is mainly because I needed to buy some of the ingredients for my juice um, so I spent about um, $49.95 today so again, and this is from HEB, okay? So I'm gonna qu uh, quickly go over some of the things that actually um, aren't gonna go into my juice, but just something so that way, you know, can show you where most of the, some of the $49 went to. So first off, um, Anthony loves mustard greens and chopped collard greens. So what I do is I just take these two, and they're frozen packs, so I just take these two and I mix them up and I just saute them um, with some just garlic, ginger, and onions actually that I pureed and he'll eat it just like that and he actually prefers, he can actually eat that every night with his meal. So, um, and then I got here, let me take it out of the bag, for Anthony some... Sanderson's Farm 100% Natural Whole Chicken. And these were on sale at HEB for 77 cents. So for this big five pounder, it was $3.97. So, well, actually not five pounder. Well, it says 5.16. So anyway, it was $3.97. So I'll pop that in the... Sorry, I'm trying to put it all in the freezer while I'm talking to you. Okay, put that aside. Now for me, I got myself some uh, Boca Crumbles, and these were a dollar off. And I also got me some Seven Grain Crispy Tenders, just to, as it says there, to top my salad, and these were a dollar off also. Okay, so just put those away. Um, and then... I know I try and buy mostly vegan, if not vegetarian, but I mainly, I do eat fish, so I guess I'm a pescatarian, as you can say. I'm trying to cut it out, but I just, I love fish, so um, pescatarian on its way to fully vegetarian to fully veganism, I guess, is what I'm trying to do, um, but I've completely cut out all meat from my diet, any chicken, red meat, white meat, but I do eat fish every once in a while. I would say about once, maybe every two to three weeks I'll eat fish. My body tells me if I'm craving for it, I will eat it because then I know that my body needs it. So that's, that's basically how I would eat fish. Otherwise it's all vegetables. Um, so anyways, this was on sale, it was $6 for two fillets, so just enough for me and Anthony, so I got that, and they're about like four or five ounce fillets each, and then I bought me some sun-dried and tomato and basil hummus, so I got that, it looks yummy, and then for work, I got some fat-free uh, cream cheese because we're having another potluck and so I will be making um, some stuffed jalapenos so this is I bought the fat free version so that way I can eat it <laughs> um, now on to the vegetables so I, um, just to show what I already have on hand I have some oranges some navel oranges I have one apple left so five limes and I got some plums here so I uh, just wanted to let you know what I've already had on hand. And down here I have some organic um, 
tomatoes that I, I like to munch on. Um, back here, I already also have some onions, um, some ginger, garlic, and I have two sweet potatoes here that I bought from Whole Foods last week. So, um, oh, and look at this. Came from Japan, not sure if you guys have seen this, but this is the Green Tea Kit Kats. Anthony loves these. Loves it. And look at the nutritional facts. 64 calories per serving. Zero sugar. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Ingredients, vegetable oil, wafer biscuit, powdered milk, green tea paste, cocoa butter, green tea. I mean, it has some things there that are kind of, you know, but I mean, 64 calories per serving. So Anthony loves that. He doesn't eat it as much, but you know, when he wants a treat, that's what he goes for. Anyways, back to the haul. So again, these are all the components for my juice that I'm going to be doing this week. Um, so I got a handful of spinach, or a handful of spinach, a bag of spinach. Um, what else do I have here? I got me some curly kale. Okay. Oh, I bought one of these little freezer packs just to put in my lunch bag. I bought me some Roma tomatoes. Not for the juice, but you know. Some of these items are not really for the juice. Maybe if I experiment, I would. <laughs> I got me some baby eggplant, only because I love eggplant, so I got some of that. And I got me some flat leaf kale. I guess they're called... What is it? La Lacinado kale. I don't know if you can see that. But I got that. And the only reason why I got the curly kale is because it looks kind of blah. So I went and got some curly kale too. I got me some kiwi for my juice. I got... Here's the jalapenos for the potluck. So imagine all of that and it was only less it was only like 80 cents I got some lemons and it was five for a dollar some of them fell off the bag so that's for the juicing I got me four green apples for the juicing so it's like a mean green juice that's what I'll be doing I got me a bunch of beets here for the juice. I got me some cucumbers for the juice. Celery for the juice. bag of carrots for the juice and lastly I got a pineapple for my juice so all of that you know with the exception of the jalapenos and the eggplant and the tomato is all for my juice for the week I'm sure it's not enough. I'm sure I'm going to have to stop by the store midweek to fill up on some more. But I kind of did my calculations. So, I mean, the recipe called for like one apple, you know, so I got four. So one beet and there's like three bulbs of beets. And I have three couple, uh, about three recipes that I'm going to be rotating just based on this alone. Plus what I have up there so yeah 
So anyways, if you want some of my recipes for juicing, let me know and I'll comment below and I'll go ahead and um, either do a video on me juicing and I'll probably do it tonight because no tomorrow night I'll do my juice for Monday morning um, and I'll prepare them tomorrow night and put them in the refrigerator and that way I'll have it and I don't have to deal with having to juice it first thing in the morning on Monday so anyway just rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching bye